Hello, my name is Moritz. Today we're gonna to take a closer look at the Jewel 2. The Jewel 2 is a auto tuber made out of stainless steel that is perfectly suitable for sport climbing, top roping, single pitch climbing in general, and also gym use. It can work with ropes from 8, 9 up to 11 millimeters. Therefore, if you're having a fuzzy 10 mil rope, it will still work smoothly and will be an enjoyable experience to climb with. It works in similar ways as the Mega Jewel, meaning that there are no movable parts and it's purely based on its geometry. The, what's happening here is that the dangling rope tilts the device and the carabiner locks into this groove, therefore creating a passage that is too narrow for the rope to pass through and locking it off. To get lowered, I just put my thumb in here and can lower him really smoothly due to the increased sweet spot that I have because of the bigger lever and the good leverage definitely adds an extra level of safety to the whole belay system. For demonstrational purposes, I took my hands off the brake line. Never do that in real life. You should always have a head on the brake rope. If you're trying to lower someone with a lever and things are not as smooth as you expect them to be, there's one trick I'd like to show you, which also works for the Mega Jewel, by the way. Where you put your thumb on the back, point the finger through here, and you just gradually tilt the device and then you can lower really smoothly and easily. And this might be especially interesting if there's a big weight difference between climber and belayer. The device is made out of stainless steel, therefore it won't wear out. You'll only have to buy it once. You'll never have to replace it because of wear. Yet the carabiner will wear out since it's aluminum and the rope runs over it and after excessive lowering, whatnot, you get this big groove there and every half year you have to replace your carabiner, which is why I'm actually using a steel carabiner here. You might think, hey, I'm not going to use a steel carabiner, it's super heavy. In my world, I think it doesn't make a big difference if I carry an ounce more or less to the gym. The strike screw weighs in at around 70 grams. The, the steel carabiner weighs in at around 110 grams, 120 grams. So it's not that much of a difference. And this carabiner won't wear out, so I can highly recommend to belay off a steel carabiner, even if it's something you haven't thought about yet. We already showed the Jewel 2 at the last show, if you remember. It had a plastic coating all around and the functionality was a little bit different. The version we showed last year, which never made it into production, did not lock off the rope completely. The idea was that there's still some slippage involved. Our philosophy now is and will be for the future to only have fully locking tubers, only auto tubers. No more kilojoule, no more joule, only joule 2 and mega joule and both of those lock off completely. Little known fact, in Germany this device is called Joule Quadrat.